You know the only reason I came on to do this episode with you? Charity. I already regret bringing you on. Andrew and Nikki, no introduction needed. What's up? I usually eat the food. <laughs> and we brought him on because he is the only person in the world I can think of who would appreciate this episode as much as I do. This is the props department of BuzzFeed. And as you can see, we have a variety of chairs with us. If you remember last season, I suggested worth it chairs in the finale. There's one reason I want to do season four. I want to do chairs. What is with you in chairs? <laughs> we have sat together in more different chairs than maybe me with anybody else in my life. What kind of chair is the right chair for you? It's a far more complicated question than you would think. Mm. We're doing chairs! Woo! Today on Worth It Lifestyle, we're going to be trying out three chairs at three drastically different price points to find out which chair is the most worth it at its price. How do you taste test a chair? Well, the tasting will be done by our backsides. Our, our backsides, yes. We're starting off in California because we're going to start off with a place called California Chair. They make your classic office chair. Ooh, arguably one of the most important categories of chair. Sitting down eight hours a day, you want to find a chair that can actually make that experience a little bit more tolerable. I'm Rick Henson, president of California Chair, and today we'll be looking at the universal chair. In fact, just introduced today. Today? This day, actually? I've been in the industry about 40 years, and one day I just felt like I could do this better. A chair really is a tool. I've yeah. never heard a chair being described as a tool before. It's designed to support you and reduce workplace injuries. This particular chair, the universal chair, where does it lie in your range and what is its design thesis? The universal chair is our entry level chair. It's made in the United States. Starting at the floor is a full 60 millimeter heavy duty caster. Standard chair is 275. Our universal is standard at 300 pounds. We use a class four gas lift that's gonna last forever. It's warranted forever. We use seven ply plywood, high density molded foam. I think when I sit on an office chair, my thighs, my butt will all start to hurt a little over the day. Right. What is the design of your cushion and how are you doing that to eliminate some of those pains? When you build that seat, you want to make it in a compound curve, like a tractor seat. Farmers would farm in the field on a big steel tractor seat in the shape of their posterior. Is <laughs> that the inspiration for yeah. the yeah. design of your seats? Yeah, so you add that feature. When you start going up in product line, we all have a 100, 200, and 300. An entry level price point to the middle, and you get the top of the line. It's just like yeah. customizing a car. Right. Most people sit eight hours a day for five days a week, and that chair is tested to last for 12 years. I want that chair to last. We're passionate about recycling. I'm a sailor and uh, I see the stuff that ends up in the ocean. Uh, I see plastic out there floating around and I don't want to be a contributor to that. Uh, while our product may be twice what you would pay at a big box store, uh, you'll buy that chair two, three, four times over the life of what our chair would last. Usually we just sit down and start eating. Uh, today the sitting is the eating. Chair, yeah, chairs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. First of all, this is a little low for me. I kind of like being this low. Out a little bit on my arms. Lumbar support. If your butt is too far forward, maybe you want to slide your seat. Nice. Locked in. Wait, I don't think I did this right. Andrew already has his chair configured, and Steven's like... Look, you don't know what's right with it until you know what's wrong with it. The most impressive thing to me, the amount of force that this back applies. It's very good. It keeps me upright, but if I want to push back, it lets me. Mm, this is very comfortable. I'm very happy with it. But what I'm curious to try, this is the 200 with the tractor seat. This looks like a jelly donut. Oh, yeah. Bells and whistles. <laughs> Here, my whole seat goes back, so I'm staying in that same Whoa. comfortable seated position. I want you to try this chair. Are we posterior pals? <laughs> oh! I would probably be distracted by how great this chair is at work. Well, maybe distracted for the first day. Your butt will thank you for it later. We've tried the universal chair. Now I think we should try... No! Yeah. It's not even on the market yet. Exciting. That's true, yeah. Our newest chair that I worked on, and that's our Sausalito chair. And one thing you notice right away is this back, how it moves. Whoa. <laughs> and this is relieving pressure on the spine. Suggested list price on this chair is $1,000. This is not the top end of the market. This really? will be 30% less than anything close to this level. Three, two, two, one. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Oops. 
Yeah. <laughs> We might as well be doing the salsa in this dance. Ah, uh, the uh, salsa. This chair. Lido. This feels like nothing I've ever felt before. Yeah, and it's broken down so that you can actually have more flexibility. Because usually it's just one back, like these, that just goes back and forth. But this one. It's like I'm wearing a chair. The concept of the chair as a tool is very cool. So, Steven, this chair is three or more times more expensive than the Universal. Yeah. Do you see yourself getting Universal or one of these? Well, this is the CEO chair. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, exterior pals. You gotta stop saying that. <laughs> Boom, office chairs, we did it. We know what time it is. So, in England, in Westminster Abbey, they have the coronation chair, which is a chair that is more than 700 years old. Whenever you deliver important news to someone, you always wanna <laughs> ask them to sit down first, right? Yes, you don't wanna sit down for this. Would you mind taking a seat for a second? Uh, you're gonna be queen now. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's how it went? Yeah. Now we're off to another place in Los Angeles called Bend, where they are bending the rules about how to paint a chair. Oh. Hi, my name is Gaurav Nanda, and I am the creator and founder of Bend Goods. We're called Bend Goods, and it's from the bending of wire. I was always interested in mid-century wire furniture. Reinvent it and make it something new. We're gonna be looking at the Lucy chair. It's one of our most well-known chairs. The Lucy chair is one of the first chairs that we created. People are really kind of drawn to that geometric pattern that's on the back of the chair. I think it was something different. Wire furniture wasn't really out there the way it is today. What can you tell us about the Color selection. I wanted something bright and fun, and I wasn't really seeing it out there. We believe that like your home should be fun. When I look at chairs, I want to like it to invite me into sitting into it. And when I look at a wire chair, that's not the first thing that comes to mind. What we've done is really taken a lot of care in the way we are placing the wires. We weld the wires really close to each other, kind of hug your body in a way that would be comfortable. So we do offer a variety of different seat pads uh, for that extra added comfort. And we can also do uh, custom fabric. So if a customer wants a flower pattern or something, we can do that. How much does the Lucy chair cost? The Lucy chair starts at $450. The first word that comes to mind is fun. It looks like a chair I would look at, not sit in. It looks like a race car. Oh yeah, and of course no, you're no, in no, the no, gold no, chair. But yeah. it wasn't my choice. He even immediately went over, he was like, no. gold, no. gold. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the wallet to get the full. Already did. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> definitely, definitely gonna that. forget that. Three, two, one. <sighs> oh. <laughs> that is very comfortable. Huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really surprised that I don't feel the wires. It has a pleasant springiness to the back. I like chairs where I can like put all my entire body on it, you know, like this. I'll, I'll try that. You know what? Yeah. Ah, God. Oh. You move like an old man. Yeah, this is horrible. Something about sitting like on a chair, the way you're not supposed to sit on the chair, is something I like to do. Because nobody can tell you what's comfortable. That's right. Only you can. Pretend like you're eating at a dining room table. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. And then reset your room. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> you know what's a good test of a chair to me? If I was having dinner and I got to dessert, I kind of stretch like this a little bit, and it works in this chair. This is the chair that will impress your guests. It's a pop of color for your apartment. Pow. It's like mesmerizing, but not to a point where you have a headache. That's right? a good way of putting it. Look at that. Very visually satisfying. I can be a very sweaty man. <laughs> and sometimes if I'm sitting in a chair, I will leave a dewy mark on a Can you please finish seat. this? But this, Clearly that would not be a problem. Plenty of ventilation. It's still yeah, warm, warm actually. <laughs> that was a great sit. You know, you're a real sit down kind of guy. Do you lie on these chairs? All right, I gotta say, that place actually changed my perspective on chairs. You can think of purchasing a chair as both getting a sculpture for your home and a thing to use. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that going somewhere or is that? That, that is that a full point. statement. Oh. <laughs> I also really love a chair that you could hose off, you know? That's it for Bend. But before we go to the next place. Chair you, fact? Do you have a chair fact? Chair fact? Chair, chair fact? Chair fact. According to architect Witold Rybzinski, oldest chair on historical record dates back to between 2800 
in 2700 BCE. The chair in question is part of a sculpture featuring a musician playing a harp while seated on a four-legged chair. Whoa. So all of the things that humans can do for entertainment, mm -hmm. when I think of the oldest things, music, okay? Mm -hmm. But also, sitting, yeah. I would argue, is kind of a form of entertainment. Highly underrated form of entertainment. Hey, let's all sit down and just talk to one another. Human nature, actually. It's instinctual. It's like breathing. So where are we heading to now? So we're going to Stockton, California, up to see a super duper awesome rocking chair. Ooh. Isn't the rocking chair really the ultimate chair, though? Mm. And what is the approximate price point of this? It's $9,800. Wow. Yeah. That is one year of rent. There's pretty much no limit to how expensive a chair could be. Some may even say the Earth is the most expensive chair. What? <laughs> I'm Jared Rustin, and we're in the J. Rustin Furniture Studio. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the modern rocking chair, which is my take on this American classic. What drew you to working with wood? There was something about using this natural material to create a functional object that becomes part of the family. The wood and the design aren't fighting too much for attention, it's like more of a harmony. I wanted to build something that you could develop a relationship kind of from cradle to grave. From start to finish, how do you make a rocking chair? The, the first step is obviously wood selection. I'm looking specifically for grain patterns that match the shape of the elements. If you've got this curved piece and the grain is following that curve, it's gonna wanna stay in that curve. I've been developing this uh, slatted seat design since 2002 and trying to get you know, the lumbar just right and tweaking the heights and trying to make it as universally comfortable for as many people as possible. You've got the seat projecting out and it gives this weightless quality. I thought a lot about how the slats would be fastened. Ultimately, I decided I wanted the piece to seem classic. So I decided to use traditional slotted screws. There is an insert nut embedded in the frame. So I can use a machine screw with a finer thread pitch and one fussy detail when using slotted screws is to clock them. You're lining up the slots so they all line up in a similar way. How much is the rocking chair? 9,800. That is purely reflective of the time it takes. Trust me, I'm not getting rich on this chair. <laughs> it's just priced so that I can keep doing this. Uh, are you ready to sit in it? Uh, no. You have a player like LeBron, all-star. You put him on any team and he just, you build the team around LeBron. You get an apartment, you put the chair down. That is the centerpiece of the room. I'm gonna build my room around the idea of this rocking chair. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that analogy was going nowhere, but that's a great point. <laughs> Thank you. This is the LeBron of chairs. It's smoother than you think it'll be. Oh. Well, because it looks like a, Oh, hi, buddy. New co-host. Okay, bye. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's giving me the giggles that uh, when we eat that hot chicken, the same kind of high that I got from eating hot chicken, I just got from sitting in this chair. For a new chair to actually make you stop and, and chuckle and say like, what the heck? One thing I just realized that I wasn't realizing, the pressure on my buttocks. Right. In your back, lower back butt. Yeah. I don't feel that. All of the seams are, are perfect. On, like you touch the ones down here, you touch the ones up here, along here. It's just like uniformly great around the whole thing. I know that these screws are straight behind me. That's, that's part yeah. of it. And you can't see that while you're sitting in the chair, unless you bought two of them. Which? Would you buy two of these so that you could rock out with a friend? You kind of have to get two. You kind of have to. Just all of my tension drips off my body. Uh, your facial expression, it's like you're achieving nirvana slowly. I've never seen you this satisfied. And we've eaten a lot of things that were very good. I really like the idea of cradle to grave, and then a legacy piece that you can then hand to your kid this is a delightful experience. I don't want to get up. That's, that's when you know. This is us in 40 years. Or us now. <laughs> just want to say thank you, Andrew. You have done a better job than any of us expected. 
Well, all I had to do was sit. True. But you've been nothing but an angelic cherub. You cherry the torch well. I was the cherry on top. With not a chair in the world. And so, Andrew, <laughs> which chair was mm. the most worth it to you at its price? Believe it or not, but I think I have to go with Jared Rustin's rocking chair. You know, it's expensive, but he puts a lot of hours into it, and I could also put a lot of hours into it by sitting in it. I was going to choose Jared Rustin. Then I asked myself the question, am I going to buy one? And the answer is, to me, right now in my life, no. So how can that be my worthy winner? I do aspire to buy one, but I'm unable. Now, Ben, to come into the world and try to change the chair game, I admire him for it. But my worth it winner goes to California chair. It's every kind of chair you want it to be. Mm. And I can afford it right now. It's the right tool for the job. That, that's, that's right. Annie, worth it winner? Wow. wow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Tiny houses.